One Time is ready for prime time on the worldwide leader. Welcome into this edition of Making the Rounds on ESPN.com. My name is Brian Campbell. Unbeaten welterweight titleist Keith One Time Thurman headlines the debut of the premier boxing champions on ESPN against Luis Colazzo at the USF Sundome on July 11th. Thurman now joins us from Tampa, Florida to preview the fight. Keith, this is also your first fight in your native Florida since 2009. Considering the platform of fighting on ESPN, how significant is, the, of, is this bout for your career? This bout is uh, truly significant. Each bout is, you know, at this stage, at this level of competition, uh, defending my WBA world title uh, means everything. The fact that I can bring my title back home and defend it here in Tampa Bay, Florida, me, my team, my whole family, we are truly looking forward to July 11th. It is going to be a terrific show. Keith Colazzo, a former welterweight titleist, also a southpaw, but maybe not necessarily the opponent most expecting you would be facing right now coming off of your March victory over Robert Guerrero. Why might this be a more difficult challenge than fans might realize? Well, experience, experience uh, goes a long way in sports and in the world of boxing. Like you said, he's an ex-world champion, and now he has the opportunity to become champion again. I tell people all the time that all, all that matters in, in a fight is how training camp was. If he really wants to do something in his career, if he wants to make one last statement, the time is now. It will be July 11th. So I expect Luis Colazzo to bring his best. Um, you know, he's had some ups and downs in his career. He's made some great victories and great upsets. And I believe that he's coming to upset me um, July 11th in my hometown, but we're going to do our best to put on a great performance and not allow that to happen. Keith, you've showcased something different in each of your fights. You know, we've seen your power against Julio Diaz, your chin against Diego Chavez, your ability to box against Leonard Bundu. Right now, where do you rank yourself among the pound for pound best welterweights in the world? You know, I see myself as a welterweight. I see myself easily um, in the top three. Um, and I, I plan on proving that each and every time we step into the ring and I'm going to work my way up uh, to number one. I've been dedicating myself to the sport for a very long time. Uh, a lot of people, like you said, I show diversity each and every time. I am evolving. I'm continuously evolving in the sport of boxing. I have fun. I enjoy my job and I look forward to each match and for however long it lasts, being at the top of the Walter Wade division. Well, the man at the top, of course, is Floyd Mayweather. Uh, how possible mm -hmm. do you think it is with a victory in this fight for you to enter that conversation? You know, I believe I'm currently already in the conversation. I believe the way that I perform could elevate um, the topic more. But it's interesting, you know, Floyd has, to me, for the most part, kept his mouth shut on who he wants to fight next, what's going to happen in September. So maybe he is looking to see um, what's going on in the Walter Waite division, which uh, fighter at the top 10 does he want to pick to fight. I truly would love the fight against Floyd Mayweather. I've been talking about it for a few years now. He is the king, and I say that, you know, every king has his day, and I'd like to come see me one time. Well, Keith, uh, there has been one welterweight who has been outspoken about wanting to fight you. That's unbeaten prospect Errol Spence Jr. Two weeks ago called you out, says he'd like to face you in September. What are your thoughts on what he said? You know, it, it was very interesting. Out of everybody, he wanted to call me out. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of people about this. You know, Errol Spence is a good fighter. He's an up-and-coming fighter. Uh, he's an Olympian. The kid has skills. But, you know, he's only got 16 fights under his belt. He hasn't even really fought a B-class fighter yet. I would like to see him get in line, get in position. I've worked my way really hard to be where I am. But if the fans really want to see the fight, you know, I'll fight. You know, I'm not scared of the boy. I think the boy's jumping um, a little too far ahead of himself. I think there's some more experience that he can gain. But if he wants to rumble in the jungle with the big boys, you know, I'm right here. I'm not going nowhere. Keith, the more boxing fans get to know you, the more we find out about the depths of your personality. For one, it appears you're an accomplished musician. We've seen video of you playing the flute, connecting with birds and nature. What's going on here, Keith? I find it really you know, it's um, different forms of meditation and just living life, man. At the end of the day, I'm a fighter, but you know, I'm also a person. I have my own hobbies outside of the ring. 
Um, I have a certain kind of lifestyle that I like to live. And like I said, I like to evolve. Um, I picked up, uh, I was singing as a kid. I picked up the guitar at the age of 20 to try to get back into music. And then um, about six months ago, I got into flute playing and um, it, it, it just came naturally, really. I didn't even really practice that hard. It kind of just went right back to my musical roots. I think music is very therapeutic and everybody needs therapy um, one way or another. Well, Keith, let's take it back here to the X's and O's. You've said it yourself many times before. It only takes one time for that right hand to end a fight. How will this fight against Luis Colazzo play out on July 11th? You know, I'm looking forward to a great fight. I'm looking forward to um, what kind of tactics he wants to bring to the fight to, to challenge me, to make it more difficult. Um, if, it's, if, he, if he doesn't bring all that he has, then I'm trying to look forward to an early night. I expect the fight to be similar to the Robert Guerrero fight, considering that Luis Colazzo is a southpaw. Um, he doesn't really have much of a size advantage um, on me. Um, he, is a, he is a decent sized Walter Waite, but I just expect him to, to bring his best. But I believe that right hand, like you were talking about, it should be there. And I'm going to be looking for it from round one until he's on the mat. Keith, thanks so much for joining us. That's unbeaten Walter Waite titleist Keith, one time Thurman. Check him out Saturday, July 11th against Luis Colazzo. It's the debut of the PBC on ESPN. And for the latest news and analysis in boxing, keep it locked to the ESPN.com boxing page. I'm Brian Campbell. Thanks for watching.